Hey guys, so we're back with another 2D kinematics question where somebody is trying to get better at basketball and they're asking us what direction should they shoot the ball so that it goes right into the hoop and we're given the initial speed of the ball which is 9 meters per second we're given the initial height of the ball which is 2.25 meters we're given the final height of the ball or the height of the hoop which is 3.05 meters and we're given the horizontal distance between the ball and the hoop, which is 7 meters. So, as always, feel free to pause the video for yourself. It's slightly challenging, but I'm sure you can do it. And come back when you're finished. So, let's write down what information we have. Well, we know that the horizontal displacement of the ball is going to be the horizontal distance between the ball and the hoop, which is equal to 7 meters. We know that the vertical displacement of the ball is going to be the final minus the initial height which is 3.05 minus 2.25, which is just 0 0.8 meters. And another, the acceleration of the ball is going to be the acceleration due to gravity, or 9.8 meters divided by second squared downwards. And I'm going to need to use this angle, and I also want to know what's the initial vertical and horizontal velocity of the ball. So let me define this angle as theta, or the direction when you start east or right, and you go upward until you get to the velocity, to write the vertical and the horizontal initial velocities. So, v0y equals 9 sine theta, and v0x equals 9 cosine theta. And v0x is just the horizontal initial velocity of the ball, and v0y is just the vertical initial velocity of the ball. And this theta is here, this angle, and you can see that 9 sine of this theta is just going to be this upwards velocity, and the cosine is going to be this horizontal initial velocity. Well, we don't really have enough information to find this theta yet, but let's write an equation with many of the things that we know and see what we're missing. So we know the a lot of the vertical things. So we know that the original vertical velocity is 0. Point. We know that the original vertical velocity of the ball is 9 sine theta. We know that the acceleration in the vertical direction is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we know that the vertical displacement is 0. 0.8 meters. So let's try to combine all those things into one equation. So change in y equals v0t. And this is v0yt plus 1 half a t squared. And we know all of these things when we substitute v0y for 9 sine theta, except for the time. So let's try to find the time while making sure that when we find the time, it's in terms of theta, or the angle which we're trying to find. And we want it to be in terms of theta, so that when we substitute it back into this equation, we have one equation with one variable, theta. So let's try to find the time in the horizontal direction. So, change to x equals v0t plus 1 half a t squared. And this acceleration is the acceleration in the horizontal direction, which is zero, because gravity only acts downwards. So we can eliminate this. And what we remain is 7 meters, or the horizontal displacement, which equals 9 cosine theta times time. And 9 cosine theta is just the horizontal original velocity of the ball. And you can cite, uh, isolate for time, and we get 7 over 9 cosine theta. Well, when we plug this back in, we're going to have one equation and one variable. So that's going to help us solve the question. So let's do that right now. So the vertical displacement is 0 0.8. That equals 9 sine theta, the vertical velocity of the ball originally. And times time, which you just found here, is 7 over 9 cosine theta, so I can plug that in, 7 over 9 cosine theta, plus half times negative 9.8, and it's negative because I define this vertical displacement and these vertical velocities as positive, so this downwards velocity acceleration is going to have to be negative, times time, which is 7 over 9 cosine theta, squared, and all this time is squared, so this whole 7 over 9 cosine theta is squared. So, we have one equation, one variable, and when we solve, we get that theta 
is 39.6 degrees or 56.9 degrees. And how can it be that there are two angles that give us the correct answer? Well, let's think about it. Let's think the person's here and they're shooting the ball into the soup. Well, they can shoot it with this very big angle and it'll go like this, right into the hoop. And they can shoot it with a smaller angle, and it'll go like this, also into the hoop. So both of these angles are completely valid ways for the person to shoot the ball into the hoop. But we're not quite done yet, because this angle is just a degree, and it really means nothing unless we define what direction it's in. And because east is to the right, and this angle is to the right, and then you go upwards, that you start to the right and you go upwards until we get to the velocity. We say that it's east, 39.6 degrees up, and because there's two valid rays, or east, 56.9 degrees up. And if the person uses any of these two angles to shoot the ball, it will go right into the center of the hoop, and he's going to have a fantastic time.